Hey guys, Aaron Dorr here with the Missouri Firearms Coalition. If you're a gun owner in Senate District Number 15, which is St. Louis County, take a moment to watch this brief video as we break down the record on freedom and public safety between Joe Peerless and David Gregory. Guys, the election's coming up very quickly, and Kamala Harris's open hatred of gun owners in the Second Amendment is so intense that it's motivating down-ballot candidates all across the country, including right here in Missouri, to adopt a, a, a stance on gun control that, frankly, they would never dreamed of uttering before. And so as gun owners, as gun voters, we must send a message on November 5 that Missouri stands for freedom or we're going to see gun control make real inroads right here in Missouri. Now, you might be asking yourself, look, I'm not a gun person. Uh, I don't own a gun or, hey, I own a gun, but I don't carry concealed or I have a gun I use for hunting every you know, 12 months. I'm not into gun culture. Why do I care about this video? Well, guys, the answer is really simple. There may have been a time 10 years ago, 20 years ago, for sure, where, where things were pretty calm in this country, where public safety was not in question in this country. And the, the, the conversation about gun rights was somewhat academic. But those days are gone now. And the public safety ramifications of gun control can no longer be talked about in a vacuum. If you look just 10, 12 miles to the east, you will see what happens in a blue state like Illinois that has adopted the entire gun control agenda. A state turned over to violence where innocent people are routinely attacked, robbed, worse, and there's no real justice for victims. That's the reality in a state where innocent people lose their right to defend themselves and criminals can run wild. And so even though you might not be a quote unquote gun person, from a public safety standpoint, take a moment and watch this video. We're gonna begin with Joe Peerless. Now, as I said, adopting the entire Kamala Harris talking point when it comes to gun control, Joe Peerless is now pushing an agenda that we almost have never seen Democrats here in Missouri openly talk about. While Joe's not yet been in office and there's no actual roll call votes to talk about, his support for gun control is very public. It's all over his website right now. You can look it up for yourself. Quickly down the list here, number one, Joe wants red flag gun seizure laws here in Missouri. If you don't know what a red flag law is, it's really simple. Somebody calls you in, they say you could be dangerous, the cops go before a judge, they say this guy could be dangerous, the judge signs an order, and your guns are confiscated. You never were there in court to hear about it. You have never been arrested for a crime, dang sure haven't been convicted of a crime, and boom, your guns are gone. That's the reality of a red flag law. You're guilty until you prove yourself innocent, instead of innocent until proven guilty. It's terrible stuff. Number two, Joe Peerless wants to register gun owners. Whether that comes to universal background checks or a permit to buy a gun is somewhat TBD, but Joe Peerless wants every gun owner in Missouri in a central database. And the reason for it is very simple. The government always wants to know what uh, citizens own firearms because they can't confiscate what's not in their database. It's just that simple. This stuff won't stop criminals. Joe's not going to get criminals to put their guns in a database. This only impacts you and me, law-abiding citizens here in Missouri. That's number two. Number three, Joe Peerless wants to repeal Missouri's Stand Your Ground law. Talk about dangerous. Talk about public safety ramifications. Stand Your Ground law allows Missourians to stand where they are, stand their ground, thus the title, and use defensive force where necessary without having to retreat. If we lose Stand Your Ground law, if it's repealed in Jeff City, you're going to be required to back up before you can use defensive action against a violent predator. Now, would you be charged in every county in Missouri? No, of course not. But if you're in the wrong county, so if you're in a blue county in particular, you could be facing criminal charges without Stand Your Ground law. Joe Peerless knows that. He just doesn't care. Number four, Joe Peerless supports deadly waiting periods. Everybody knows that waiting periods only impact law-abiding citizens. Everybody knows that violent criminals couldn't give a crap less about waiting periods. They're not going to wait to carry out violent actions. There are many tragic, horrific cases of people, usually women, who are murdered by somebody that they know is trying to attack them as they wait for permission in a blue state for a permit to buy a gun. It's terrible. It has real life and death public safety consequences. 
But despite that, Joe Peerless supports waiting periods here in Missouri. Finally, magazine limits. Just like waiting periods, these only help the bad guys. They only help the bad guys who will ignore this law. Meantime, you and me are going to have to abide by some bogus magazine limit as that's going to stop violent criminals on the street. Every single part of the radical left's agenda, Joe is on board with. The guy is a radical leftist. He's not even trying to hide it. And his his view for Missouri when it comes to gun rights would have terrible public safety consequences. That's Joe Peerless. That brings up David Gregory. David's been in office since 2016, won his first race in 2016, and he has an extensive record of supporting public safety in the Second Amendment here in Jeff City. I'm going to break it down for you guys very quickly. He voted, David Gregory voted for the Stand Your Ground law that Joe Peerless wants to repeal. And David Gregory did that because he knows the last thing of an innocent person in Missouri should be thinking about when someone's trying to assault them is how many steps have I backed up? Have I backed up enough to not get charged by a Blue County prosecutor? That's madness. That's why David was there to vote yes on that. He was a yes vote on Missouri's Second Amendment Preservation Act. Again, we want Missouri cops to focus on enforcing Missouri law to keep Missouri safe. And if Joe Biden, or God forbid, a President Kamala Harris, can use Missouri cops to enforce federal unconstitutional gun control laws, they don't have the time to help patrol our streets and keep Missouri safe. That's why David was a yes vote on the Second Amendment Preservation Act. He is opposed to the waiting periods that Joe Peerless supports because, again, he knows it only benefits violent predators. The same thing with magazine limits. David Gregory opposes that because he knows it only benefits violent predators. Last but not least, David Gregory has op opposed the idea of raising the age on when a Missourian can buy firearms because David knows that just because you're 18 or 19 or 20 years old does not mean that you've lost the right of self-defense. That's what these laws would do. They would raise the age to buy a gun to 21. And what that means is you can have a 20-year-old daughter who's moved out of the house. She has her own apartment in St. Louis County. And even though she has a very dangerous person in her apartment complex, if this bill were to become law, it would be a crime for her to buy a firearm. How does that help anybody other than the violent criminal? So guys, when it comes to gun rights, when it comes to public safety, the difference between the policies supported by David Gregory and Joe Peerless have radically uh, sharp differences. That is the real life reality of gun control at the local level. So guys, if you're a gun voter, again, send a message on November 5 that Missouri stands for public safety and Missouri stands for freedom. Make sure and share our video online, tag all of your friends in the comment section, get them all out there to the polls on November 5. Let's help, again, remind the radical left that they might be able to move gun control in a blue state, but Missouri values freedom. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll be in touch.